Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale tracking the cloudy skies, mm -hmm. Brian. Yes, we're going to keep the clouds in the forecast okay. for sure. And we're going to sprinkle Great. showers all around. All right. Yeah, I did. Showers and clouds. All right, mostly cloudy, cool overnight tonight. Temperatures going down through the 60s slowly, and we'll bottom out at 61 degrees with a north wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Okay, you need to do something outdoors tomorrow, whether it's fun or it's work or both. Uh, we're expecting temperatures to be around the mid-70s by lunch, and then just be stable through the day because we have a lot of cloud cover, again, uh, altering the temperature, uh, keeping the sun from getting us too warm, as well a northeast wind turning east will also help us to maintain that mid-70s. Also, let's throw in that also, also, uh, the chance for showers. Yeah, about a 30% chance starting at noon, lasting through the afternoon. Here you go, on through the lunch hour. Light shower action is expected now and again, and that's true for the afternoon and into the uh, Sunday forecast. But here's the deal. On Sunday, a cold front comes on down, and as that front passes through, it's expected to kick up the shower action a little bit. Now, thunderstorms are not in the forecast. But I just can't help myself. Whenever a cold front comes through, I got to say, you know, we could have a rumble of thunder or two on Sunday. It could happen as the front moves through, and then the front leaves behind this trough of low pressure offshore. I mean, this thing's going to be stubborn. It's going to hang out out there for days. And what this does, it acts like a trigger mechanism for any moisture left over across the valley, so it can fire off showers maybe even help with a rumble or two, but no significant thunderstorm activity is expected. Just, as I said, a few rumbles. I say it because I gotta. It's in me. Now, Monday afternoon, yeah, we still had that elevated chance for showers, about a 30% chance. You'll see how things work out with the graph coming up. Now, Sunday is also important because we're going to start with some potential thick fog uh, Sunday morning. So 72 will be the daytime high. We'll start the day out with some fog. We'll end up with, as I showed you, about a 30% chance for showers, and that's how it pretty much rolls out. So what about the rain? Okay, let's talk about the benefits and just, well, that's all we have, benefits. It's, it's all good. Take a look at what we've done for the month so far. We're almost twice, double ahead for Harlingen. And look at McAllen, even a little bit ahead, 278, more than two and three quarter inches for the month. Normally it'd be about a little more than an inch and three fourths. So that's great stuff. Uh, oh, just, it's Brownsville, much the same. It's good news all around. And take a look at what we're talking about with the 30 day tally, the running tally for rainfall. You're either above normal, normal, above normal, or way above normal. No two ways about it. There's three ways about it, and they're all normal or higher. Your soil moisture for the top six inches of soil, eh, uh, we're talking about 40 to 50 percent. A month ago, these numbers were in the teens, the low teens. So we've really bounced back. That's good news, too. And you can also see the next seven days, as I said, the persistent chance for rain. I know 20 percent is not that big a deal, but it's there. It's persistent all the way on through Thursday of next week. And here comes the seven-day forecast to show you that, indeed, that's how it shakes out. Uh, don't forget, Sunday, that cold front comes through. So Monday and Tuesday will be a little bit on the chilly side with highs in the low 60s and lows uh, struggling in the upper 40s to low 50s. Meh. We'll talk about that closer to time. That's a look at your forecast, folks.